All right, let's go two more. So there's, I think a lot of people, uh, they, they look at the Dusty Cup name and then they want to somehow tie Cody into that. But uh, this question is about, you know, he's leaving a company in which he actually had a position, a non-wrestling position yeah, in a yeah. de- decision-maker role. And uh, does does he have something in, in WWE similarly, or does he just go in as a wrestler? I mean, that's, you know, we don't even know he's going to WWE, but, you know, logic would tell you that he is because there's only one other place for him to go to make that kind of money. And and the timing for WWE to take a top AEW, I mean, guy, I mean, he's he's the only one available. And, you know, for all the reasons, it's it's the right thing for WWE to do in this situation for sure. Um, but I mean, still, you know, making, you know, making that deal, what does Vince offer? You know, I mean, you know, there's, again, he would have, he would have value. He learned, you know, when you're put in that position, you're going to learn. And one of the things is that wrestling, especially now in the last, you know, and you can see it by the fact that like with Vince, you know, when it came to creative people, um, you know, he went to Paul Heyman. He went to Bruce Pritchard. He went to Eric Bischoff. These are people from decades ago. And, you know, two of them weren't even following the business that closely. I mean, everybody in MLW was telling me, you know, Bruce was out of touch. And when he was in um, Impact, I mean, he did not get high marks from from people there either, you know, for being in touch with, with changes in wrestling. Um, Eric speaks for itself, you know, obviously. Um you know, Paul followed the business, you know, for sure. But, um, you know, it's like there has, you know, one of the things when, when, um, when AEW started that I thought was really good for the Young Bucks and Cody and to an extent Kenny, you know, well, everyone thought of Kenny more as talent, but, but for Kenny especially as well, is that even if, AW were not to make it, they were going to get experience, you know, and I mean, aside from like Jeff Jarrett, you know what I mean? I mean, how many guys in the last decades have gotten that experience, you know, I mean, of being on the business end, but also understanding talent and being talent. Um, and that's something like for the, you know, like, again, it's a skill set. You know, one of the, th- the things of going you know, and taking that spot with AEW originally was you would have experience and develop that skill set or learn that skill. So he is valuable. Even if it's not this week, he's got, you know, it would be something, it could be something down the line. Um, yeah, so, um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, that's still to be negotiated in, but um you know, w, you know, one of the things with WWE, of course, even so it's, it's a weird situation is, and I, I don't, you know, I mean, you know, we all know the one thing Vince needs, and I don't think that this is going to be that person, and I don't know that Vince even wants that person, but we all know it's what he needs, is that guy to sit there with Vince and just go, who Vince respects, which I don't know that, it, you know, Vince does, to just go, Vince, we have to make changes. Somebody's doing this, you know, like, we're 13 times the size of these guys and their average attendance is bigger than ours. We're 13 times the size of these guys. And, um, you know, I mean, they're, 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 you know, they've got, a, you know, they've got more enthusiastic fan base. Um, their male audience is bigger than ours in a lot of weeks, you know, many weeks. In fact, um, as far as like, you know, their demo number is competitive sometimes, sometimes even beats us. This should never happen. And we have every advantage in the world. We're the name brand. We've got, you know, 35 year head start on a national basis. And, um, you know, 13 times the money, 13 times the revenue. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, this should not be happening. And this is why it's happening. You know what I mean? It's like, I, and I've told people that I go, this is why it's happening. But Vince, you know, is so insulated because everyone else is going, look at our social media numbers. You know what I mean? Social, 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 social. And that's nice and well and good. But, you know, the, you know, it shouldn't, you know what I mean? With all that, with all those those social media numbers, if anything, that should explain why the gap is 
10 times bigger than it sh than it is. It's not. So there's, you know, there's something to be said. And Cody does have that knowledge, but will, um, you know, because he's, he's on the inner side of developing this thing that is doing for its size far, far better, um, you know, and especially like in, in big city markets, New York, Chicago, right? But, um, but I don't expect like 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 he actually could be really valuable in that way. But I I don't expect any. Of, I do. I strongly don't expect any of that to happen. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The twelve to eighteen new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road at work working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.